I'm going to have my head in the shade here a little bit. That sun's like right on me. Uh, it isn't hot, but it's like blinding, you know. Um, these are just tintable whatever glasses. It's not like a full sunglass, which is what I think I'd need for this. Anyways, uh, good morning. <laughs> Another absolutely awesome morning in Thailand. This is this is ridiculous. So good. Um, talked it over with Fawn this morning, and I think my best plan is going to be to come with her. She's going to her facility that she runs, kind of more quiet. Uh, I've stayed away the last couple of days of her check-in facility, which she works there all day. I don't stay there. I can. I'm welcome to, and I can, but I, I've never, I've never taken that option. I always concerned about being in the way, and uh, I think it's a different vibe. Uh, when they're doing that, they're usually just a little more of a stressy kind of vibe, and I, I don't want to add to that in any way or whatever. So, anyhow, um, but what I want to talk about is I'm starting to see now that, uh, I'm getting a little bit of sun here. Uh, I'm starting to see that uh, I need to kind of be in a little different mindset because I'm always thinking, oh, I'll just get this next thing, I'll get this next thing, and then that'll be done. It's like, the uh, I think it's from my construction days. You get one step and then you just knock down these steps and get the job done. And this is a case where I, this is not a case where I can do that. Uh, this is a case where I have, uh, virtually no control over the events or the timing or the outcome. I mean, I'm doing my best to put myself in front of the right doctors and encourage them and nudge them along to get the right reports and stuff, but it, it, yeah, just, I can't. I, I don't get to tell anybody what to do in this case. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that's, again, that's, I made that point in an earlier video. You want to wrap up your business in your home country before you come here. And I wrapped up everything I could. I wrapped up everything. Uh, Still amazed I got the divorce done. I, I'm still, I, that, that was the hardest one, and the one where it was the most adversarial, obviously, and, 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 and that's done. So that's, I, I still, sometimes I, I'm brushing my teeth in the morning or falling asleep on my bed or something, and it's like, man, I can't believe I got that behind me. It's such a relief. But all this medical stuff, I didn't anticipate, and that's okay. But uh, I think I need a new mindset to go with that. So. Uh, I'm getting tired of standing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this and then uh, I'm gonna set up at uh, one of Fawn's uh, rooms there and uh, shoot a little video on this, talk about this uh, mindset stuff. Thanks. Look at that. Let's see if anybody notices. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's always really nice. I think it may be she's fun. Not quite. There she is. Way in the background. A little, little dot moving back there. Good morning. Ah, uh, that's you and he's the second oldest guy here. <sighs> oh, mufoi mai. Oh, mufoi. Make a good lunch or something later. Yeah, this with my salad roll at the back of the apartment will be will be really good. Save that. Uh, yeah, well, I'll try this. So, uh, yeah, I think I've got to start thinking about like the next year. I just need to. I think it's going to take that long to get enough good information in on my back on this new, okay, it's not fused, how do we manage it? I mean, it's obviously in my mind is, uh, I got that metal cage that's bent a little bit. It looks, appears to be bent. It, it sure looks like it to me. Um, is that safe to leave in there? You know, or do I have to do something about that? And it'd be nice if I could leave it, because it just, I don't really want to go through the whole thing again. It's, it's a pretty unpleasant process, honestly. Um, but I think over the next year, it's going to take that long to get the information, make a decision, where and how I want to have the surgery and all that. And so I think 
instead of being in this expectation, this mindset of expectation of, oh, okay, next couple weeks, oh, the next month, oh, the next this, oh, the next that, that's kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's almost like wanting a thing. It's almost like a materialism of a sort. Oh, I'm just going to get this and I'll get that and I'll be happy. And I think I need to put this all out of my mind. And uh, I'd like to enjoy this next year as much as I can. There's a, yeah, there's a plan. And so, I think, I think new rehab is working, by the way. The new, uh, and the new altered activity level. Oh, and the diet's continuing. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the diet is, uh, slow, it's, it, it, it's more difficult to track your weight in kilos because every kilo is like two and a quarter pounds, so, um, 2.2, so it, it's, um, you think, oh, you know, but a half a kilo is a pound, and half a kilo doesn't sound like much, but kind of my goal is to, in the past when I've had, like I think an ideal for someone my size, an ideal weight loss rate's about a pound a week. You don't want to go more than that, and as, you, and as I'm already not overweight, um, even half a pound a week is, is fine. Half a pound a week could be five pounds in ten weeks. That's maybe a little slow, because I, I want to lose at least five pounds before the wedding, so it's probably a pound a week. I probably want that half kilo a week. I probably do. That way, in a, within two months, including a couple of F-ups and a couple of Mugata sessions, um, I'm okay. So, but uh, I'm, 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 I think I'm doing about a pound a week right now, so. Uh, but it's going to get harder to maintain that with, uh, again, as you get down to where you're just less and less overweight and closer to an ideal weight, the body just doesn't want to get rid of fat. But the good news is, uh, despite my crappy genetics and my body wanting to, uh, my body wanting to hoard fat in the absolute most embarrassing, most awkward places absolutely possible, including my face and whatever, um, when there isn't much else other fat on your body, eventually it starts to come off there. It's almost like free liposuction or something, I guess. I don't know, but it's kind of nice seeing it come off where you finally frickin' want it to, because it's like literally the last option. Thank you, genetics. Anyways, um, so uh, that's sort of good, I guess. It's, encur it's encouraging. It's certainly encouraging to stay on the, uh, on the program. I had my little teeny tiny banana nut muffin here, and I found a lower co caffeine uh, coffee, a lower calorie coffee. I hope the chatter in the background is more interesting and not uh, distracting. You guys can hear a little of the daily tie that I hear uh, throughout the day, really. Um, oh, my friend. Oh, that's nice. We're gonna, looks like we're going to probably be able to meet for coffee tomorrow. What time is an ideal coffee time for me, he's asking. Mm. Clock? I'll tell him like 8 o'clock. 8 <laughs> See, time women are scary. Told you. Yeah, so I think this is kind of the new mindset. I, 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 I like this. I, I, I'm the kind of guy, I need like a goal and I need a focus. I need a direction. Um, you know, uh, I, I, I don't want to, I, I like some kind of structure to focus on. So um, I think I just need to continue on the diet. Great news, diet's working. That's fantastic. And I mean, at my age and my my disability and whatnot that's that's incredible so I'm super happy with that and with all the delicious food around here gee whiz I mean it could it be a more tempting environment um, and not all the Thai foods healthy believe me a lot of it's really not healthy which is surprising um, yeah tomorrow I think I want to do Mugata that's for it'll be Friday and I'm gonna try my smaller beer and more vegetable and uh, I'm going to try to do Mugata without getting fat afterwards. The ult that's a cocky test. That's a big ask. That's, um, that's the best. That's uh, David Carradine's line in the first Kill Bill movie, which is my absolute favorite movie of all time. Yeah. Bill, David Carradine is her 
jilted lover. Okay. When she asked David, when Uma Thurman's character asked David Carradine's character, her her, her former fiance lover or something, uh, to to stand up in the in the, her new wedding, he he says to her, "That's he goes, that's asking a lot." So I think that's Mugata and not being fat. That's asking a lot. That the dialogue in that movie is is pure genius. Now I got to watch it again. And maybe I'll watch it tonight. I, I just finished the movie Ambulance with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, I'm a big fan of Jake Gyllenhaal's acting, and he's he's chosen some really cool roles. His best movie over overwhelmingly is Nightcrawler. Uh, it was a box office flop. No one's hardly heard of it. Daniel and I have watched it at least twice. It's a absolutely fantastic movie. Anyways, I'll stop recording. I don't know if this is annoying or cool having this background banter or not. All right. Yeah, okay, I think kind of works. Um, I'm going to record this. I have no idea if the prior footage had good audio or if it was annoying or not. Um, I, I thought, try something different. Uh, I had, uh, I was at the breakfast table here at the check-in center, I'll call it, and uh, with uh, Fawn and one of her uh, co-worker uh, friends. Nice lady, always polite. And uh, generally the older uh, people are a little more uh, not all, not always. You cannot say that, but just generally speaking, there's kind of like there's a stereotype that there's two uh, kinds of uh, foreigner. They kind of have that stereotype about us. Got my Devo sticker. Um, they kind of have that stereotype about us, and uh, it, you know, there's like a, you know, good foreigners and bad foreign. And when they say Falang, by the way, it's really it's not just foreigner; it's Westerner. And the bad hair day aside, I guess, who cares? But, uh, yeah, um, no, there's that stereotype about uh, uh, Falang, good Falang and a bad Falang, and, you know, kind of, uh, you know, um, well, you can kind of get the idea. I think the people on this channel or else would have been a certain sort of one end of the group there. I don't think too many people that watch this channel are interested in insulting the Thais as they live here and things like that. And uh, surprisingly, there's a lot of other guys you get talking to them and it, you know, it's, they don't feel quite the same way, you know, but that's, that's, uh, that's up to them. But, uh, uh, but, 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 but it kind of works both ways because I've noticed that um, as Thailand does modernize uh, and the culture modernizes, um, yeah, that was a big part of the appeal for me was the they've, they've done such a phenomenal job of keeping their culture to me thailand has uh whoops really really kept its culture way better than than many other places that i've heard of according to uh you know other travelers and such and uh, from what a little bit that i've seen in other a couple other places but anyways um and, and as they modernize oh, there's i want to do a video on this but like um so a lot of times in general, like a little older person's going to be more of that older school, kind of like back home, right? You know, uh, older school manners and such like that. And, and then some of the younger people have kind of figured out they can kind of shortcut uh, a way to more financial success by, you know, breaking or bending some of the rules and such. Uh, you know, again, uh, you know, a, a, a young lady is very sadly financially incentivized to... Uh, take on, uh, be a geek for several other guys, or skip all that and go right to a, uh, um, uh, a tourist town and, 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 and start a career as a sex worker. Uh, they will be financially far ahead by making those choices versus being a nice, good lady that stands by her man. She's gonna have less money and be able to buy less material things. And, and some people, you know, they're gonna make their choice one way or the other, and that's, that's that. Um, having said that, though, just going to a little bit older lady is not any kind of guarantee of success in dating or a relationship. Uh, and I do want to talk about that. I was uh, talking with a group of very experienced expats just the other day, and uh, they shocked me with some of the things that they said, truly shocked me. Um, some older uh, ladies doing very, very badly, being really black-hearted with uh, 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 taking, just taking advantage of men, just treat, treating them as an ATM machine. Just. Uh, I, I, I kind of thought that was more of a younger bar girl kind of thing. That's the stereotype, right? But uh, these guys were like, no, absolutely not. That's just not the case. Anyways, but uh, yeah, anyways, so that's kind of my morning. Uh, I had to kind of stop and start a couple times. I'm still having some sound trouble. Um, uh, the video I started, it, it, it just right the, the, seg the segment right before this, and I kind of cut abruptly. 
uh, the sound is cut out. The sound was fine. I have a wired microphone plugged into my phone. Everything was fine, fine, fine. And all of a sudden, the audio went to about 2 or 3%, down from 100. Um, I, I, I have no, if I bumped the wire or, or looked at it wrong, I don't know. But it was really weird. So uh, I, I just came here to kind of wrap up that video. And, um, and, and I did one yesterday, and I had sound trouble with that one. So maybe the only mic I have that's working is it's a little cheapy. Maybe it's wearing out, and or it could be my lightning port on my phone is wearing out, or it could be something I don't know. But man, the iPhone 15, where are you? You cannot come out soon enough. All right. <laughs> and that, uh, thank you. Thanks for everyone supporting the channel. Um, it is awesome. Just past 1,500 subscribers. And I noticed the subscribers went up quickly yesterday and today, just as I crossed 1,500. I don't know if YouTube likes you more after. I wonder if after so many subscribers, you've kind of proved yourself a little bit that maybe they, they give you a little longer leash. Um, I don't know. It, it, it does feel that way at times. I don't know if that's really true or not, though. Anyways, uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you for all the positive commenters and all that. And the couple naughty people this week behave yourself and that's about it thank you my name is Rob and thank you for supporting my YouTube channel I meant every word I just said with respect